Right here. I will try not to swear. Six and a half days a week I usually swear at the past in the kitchen. So we'll see how we go. And usually this time of night I'm in a kitchen. So, and Rachel, I look forward to the discount from my seafood in the future. Okay, um, I guess uh, I'm Rex, I'm a cook, as you can see. Um, sorry about the suit, my wife likes me to wear it every six months to air it out. Um, after this you'll see why I'm more uh, known for my practical abilities than my brain abilities. And um, I guess I just want to give you a little insight to my world, our world, um, into cooking and to sort of give something back to it then sort of it's given me more than I could ever have dreamed for in the last 26 years. Um, I'm a little uh, country boy, uh, not so academic. Something regular in my reports always said, known to be easily distracted at school, um, who is still known by his mum as her baby boy at 45. <laughs> so, um, and then, then I got into hospitality uh, the last 26 years, and hopefully this will just give you a little sneak preview of um, some of the things I've done uh, that have influenced my life, uh, that have influenced my career. And I do uh, admit I am an advanced beginner, I guess, in the cooking world, because um, it, it's a huge world. And listening to, you know, um, bloggers and stuff like that, you know, you realise how big a world it is. So, and also, um, yeah, I may talk slowly during some slides, I may talk too fast during others. So just bear with me. Okay, brother. Okay, in the beginning. <laughs> I look like everybody else. <laughs> so, you know, just, just to let you know. And also, my original talk was going to be on gynaecology. <laughs> and I already had the slides, so I thought, what the heck? <laughs> we'll go with it. Um, uh, at 6.40 a.m. sometime in 1960, uh, uh, mid, uh, late 60s, <laughs> a beautiful uh, nine-pound brown baby was born in uh, Huntley. Um, he was the youngest of uh, three children. His, uh, he had a sister, older sister Denise, uh, uh, older brother Mark, and uh, two lovely parents. Um, I'm not sure if you know which one's me, but um, it's, it's the gorgeous one in the middle. <laughs> um, I, I guess my uh, father was, uh, was Tetodi Sonny Morgan, um, sort of uh, a school teacher, and my mother was June Elizabeth Morgan. Uh, who was the biggest food influence in my life. This is my immediate family. <laughs> uh, this is actually my dad's family. Uh, he, he was one of uh, 17 children. So obviously, you were really just a number. Um, I was brought up a lot on the marae, and I think a lot of those influences and stuff were, um, came through in future things. I also have other families, which I think are very important in my life. Family is very important, Fano. These are my kitchen families. Serious when we need to be at the top, and a bit of fun when we need to at the bottom. Actually, I told them to do that for the photo to make me look soft. <laughs> so, uh, so families are very important to me. Um, the next shot is probably one of the biggest uh, supporters and influences. That's my hot wife, Wendy. <laughs> um, I, I guess I, I could never do what I do without her support and her correcting me and how to spell things and what not to say and, and things like that. So I, I feel very lucky. We had three children. Probably pe a lot of people don't realise we, 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 we had three children, one of them had passed away. Top right is Carlos, the 65 kilo Great Dane, he's passed. My cat, Lily, and uh, the big girl down the bottom is our 70 kilo uh, current Great Dane. So those are our three children. So, um, the next shot, second from the left, you should check this guy out. Um, he's sort of uh, pretty sharp looking. And I'll show you why. Oh, wow! Uh, that was uh, part of my upbringing. Uh, the same skinny guy on the right um, is me, and I just want to show that because I used to be skinny. <laughs> Um, but Māori is very uh, important to me. I think it gave me a sense of ownership, a sense of foundation, and it sort of rounds me as, as a human. Right, fuck's sake. <laughs> um, uh, friends are very important. Sometimes dodgy friends at the top, sometimes real dodgy friends at the bottom. <laughs> but friends in the industry are very important to me. Um, 
I guess you feed off your friends and um, I, I'm very lucky to have great friends. The boys are from around the country, um, the dodgy guy with the moustache up the top and the back. You know, they've all had great influences on my career. Even some famous people uh, I've met along the way have uh, been overwhelming to me. So I feel very privileged to know these people. Right, shit. <laughs> That's why I shouldn't do it. Uh, obviously, the food influences, whether it's the most fine dining restaurants overseas in Paris, London, New York, um, whether it's the burger we're doing for Wellington on the plate up the top right, or whether it's just doing a, a, a simple hanging for my sister's 40th birthday, food has been always important. Um, I try and treat it with the integrity and the respect. Um, I used to be part of a tango dance troupe in Argentina. No, I'm just taking that. <laughs> I didn't put that in there for funny. <laughs> it's a bit of a wrist. <laughs> you know, pretty cool. We actually went to that show. So. Um, I've been involved in uh, designing uh, great restaurants and great catering systems around the country and around the world. This is the one we helped set up in Queenstown. Uh, the guy spent 1.4 million on a 14 seater restaurant. <laughs> Don't ask me why. <laughs> um, he's now solvent. Um, I've also been involved in a uh, lot of cooking demonstrations around the world. I've met amazing people um, in Paris, uh, London, China, this is Shanghai and Hong Kong. And, and you just meet amazing people. And I think all this just adds to the fulfillment and the round, well, roundness uh, and the balance of, of, of my career. So I've been very lucky to meet these people. Um, charity dinners, this was a Hook Lodge charity dinner for um, child cancer. I've been involved in a lot of with leukaemia. Uh, SPCA and I think I think it's time to give back and so I try and get involved with many charities that sort of give a decent amount to the charity not doing big dinners for giving 400 bucks to the charity so so I try and get involved with that as much as I can I've been lucky to meet great people um, this was probably about 10 years ago when Gordon Gordon hadn't sold his soul uh, uh, just a few years ago uh, Rachel took us up to meet Rick and stuff like this and um, these things I think um, they're, they're not showy things, they're just personal things, I've got Josh there and I, yeah it's just something about it. Um, I've dabbled in TV, um, that's me when I was white, no no, <laughs> that's Jeff Scott, um, we did uh, Escape uh, to New Zealand for you New Zealand, I've done a bit of MasterChef stuff like that, doing MasterChef again this year. No. And um, yeah no, that, that's been interesting plus I hope to do a book. Um, this, uh, people ask me, I guess, what are the two uh, best restaurants you've ever eaten in or been to or been involved with. This is our first baby. This was Citron on Willow Street. Lasted for eight years. It a degustation restaurant. Yeah. And then I guess the second restaurant, I guess, uh, would be the one I'm uh, co-owner chef of. And that's Bukok. And, um, and I just feel so privileged to be part of the one you can see. Done. <laughs>